viewers and thank you so much for joining me back here today we're going to do a tag video it's been forever since i did a tag video and i'm still trying to catch up on you know all of the end of the year wrap up 2021 is over video type things so today we're going to do a tag video it is the year in review book tag created by dom at domish books um, I was tagged by Ange over at Books with Ange, so thank you for tagging me. And let's just let's just get into it. Oh, by the way, I'll link both of their channels down below. So now let's get into it. <laughs> Question number one is your favorite book of the year. I read a lot of good books last year. There weren't a whole lot of books I read that I did not like. I purposely chose books that I was fairly certain I would enjoy. First one that comes to mind when I read this is, hold on, I have them. I actually just ordered them. So this is kind of like a little book haul too. <laughs> the ones that come to mind when I first hear this question is The Rage of Dragons and The Fires of Vengeance. These are two books that are out so far. I think the third one was supposed to come out this year um, and it's got postponed, but they're by Evan Winter. These are adult fantasy books that are just so good. They were so good. They blew me away. Um, and so much so that I bought them because I want them for my bookshelf. So, either this one or these, which I also bought <laughs> for my shelves. Uh, the From Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I'm pretty sure these were on, on Ange's answer too. But wait, From Blood and Ash, Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, and A Crown of Gilded Bones. These were excellent as well. I flew through these. Um, so yeah, those two series are the first ones that come to my mind. Let me check my Goodreads and see... Um, if, if there was just an off the wall one that I'm thinking, that I'm forgetting about, um, that maybe trump these, I kind of doubt it, but give me a second. Yeah, no, those are it. Those are my two favorites. If I had to pick one, um, I don't know, they're so different. They're so different. I'm not gonna pick one. Those two were great. And question number two can also be both of these. Uh, your favorite series started this year, but not finished. Um, the last one, maybe not the last one, the fourth one at least, for the for, from Blood and Ash series comes out this year in like March. Um, so that's why I went ahead and bought the first two. I already own the third one. I bought the first two so I could reread them and catch up um, again before the new one comes out. But uh, this one, as I said before, is also not finished. So either one of those two would still be my answer for number two. Question number three, your favorite series finished this far would probably be The Matchmakers of Huckleberry Hill by Jennifer Beckstrand. These are not new to you if you watch my channel at all this past this past year in 2021. Um, these are Amish romances that I talked about all the time here on my channel last year because I read them. There was a bunch of them. There were like nine or ten of them and one in the, the Matchmaker series of Huckleberry Hill or whatever. Yeah, those were great. They were sweet, innocent romances that had some funny like little things thrown into them that I really enjoyed, though that one was great. I think it's finished. I, I couldn't find any more, so I'm gonna say it's finished and, and make that my answer for this one. <laughs> Question number four could also be uh, relative to those books, your favorite new author discovered this year, Jennifer Beckstrand was great. Um, I did really enjoy her. I also really enjoyed Evan Winter for adult fantasy. He was great. Um, Jennifer, Jennifer L. Armitrout was great. I, I read a lot of new authors this year. I read a new Naomi Novik this year, but she's not new to me. I read her before, technically. So yeah, any of those three. They were great. I, I enjoyed their writing and if they write anything else, I will probably seek it out. Question number five, your favorite new character of the year? Uh, I do really like Tal. How many times am I going to talk about this in this series? I talked about this extensively when I first read it. Um, I do really like Tal, which is the main character in this. What is it called? The Burning Man? Is that the name of this trilogy, series, whatever? I think it's going to be four books is what I read the most recently. I think it's called Praise for the Burning. The Burning. That's the name of the series. Um, so yeah, he's a good, he's a great character. Not in terms of like, you don't want to be him or anything like that. He's just, he's an interesting character to follow. Question number six, your favorite new release of the year? 
probably, I think this one was the only one I read that was like new, new. The Crown of Gilded Bones. Again, this is the third one in the From Blood and Ash series. I read the first two books and then this one came out like a month after I finished the first two and I was so excited about it that I bought this copy, the paperback copy, and an ebook copy. That way I could read it at work. <laughs> Question number seven, your favorite reread of this year? Um, I didn't do a whole lot of rereading this year, but I do think I know my answer. Dude, Goodreads, Storygraph, all of that stuff, lifesaver when it comes to making videos because I have a terrible memory. I do have my answer. Give me a second. My favorite reread of this year was definitely Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. This is my favorite in the series. And I'll probably, I already have an itching to reread it again. Um, I did listen to the audiobook this time. I read it physically the first time, listened to the audiobook the second time. Enjoyable. I think the narrator was great. I think he did a great job. Um, not Robert Pattinson, but still a good voice actor. Excellent. Question number eight, your biggest surprise of the year? Um, my gut wants to talk about Jennifer Beckstrand again and that whole series because I did not anticipate enjoying them as much as I did. Um, I picked them up on a whim because I wanted, I was reading Akatar and the Blood and Ash series at the same time and I wanted a romance without all the spice. You know, I just wanted something innocent so I picked those up on a whim and was blown away by how much I enjoyed them. But I want to say something different because I've talked about them a lot. So I want to say my biggest surprise was A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. This is the Nesta book in the Akatar series and I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Nesta's never been my favorite character. I know a lot of people really enjoy her. I know a lot of people kind of go crazy for her or whatever. I've never really cared much for her or it's not that I dislike her. I just don't, I can take it or leave it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I listened to the audiobook of this and really, really enjoyed it. So this one was probably my biggest surprise. Question number nine, your biggest disappointment of the year? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of have two for this one. The first one I want to talk about is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I, I finished this one in like January of 2021. I started it though in 2020. Um, so it was kind of a rollover book. But I've, I've ranted about this one before on my channel. So I'll be brief in saying that it was not what I expected. When I hear fantasy, this is not typically it. This is not what I think about. And I really should have looked up if there were trigger warnings or something. I usually don't need to. I'm usually not triggered by like a whole lot of things. Um, but if you're a mother, if you have a soft spot for children, trigger warning, maybe not the book for you. There's something happens that I just, I can't get past and I have no interest in continuing on with the series. Other than that one, I did recently read Radiance by Grace Draven. This is my last read of 2021 and I've seen it a lot here on booktube and I did not care much for it. I was rather disappointed by it. Um, I, I kind of rant, go on about this one extensively in my November and December wrap up. So if you're interested in hearing more in-depth thoughts about this one, go check out that video. Very quickly, I thought it was rather cringy, kind of insta-love. Um, and just overall cringy. Yeah, They're, the interactions between the two main characters was hard for me to read. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Question number 10, the one book from this year you'd recommend to anyone? Guys, I, I am sorry, but this is just how it goes. This is just how it goes. This is how it goes. Excellent, so good. Uh, maybe I should choose something else though because what I recommend it to absolutely anyone maybe not because it's a rather high fantasy and I know high fantasy is not for everyone um, but to be fair that's I mostly read fantasy um, but yeah excellent I'm looking for another one that maybe I could say you know other than that one because what I recommend it to absolutely everyone maybe not but it's so good. But out of all the ones I read last year, like, there's no one book that I think would fit everyone. And that's the beauty of reading, right? We all have different tastes. Um, if your taste is similar to mine, 
which I assume it probably hopefully partially is if you're here on my channel <laughs> but this one is great 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 my favorite of the year excellent can't wait to reread it I wish they would come out with a hard date soon for the third one and then last question tag some friends hey friends I'm tagging you if you feel like you maybe need some reflection on your 2021 reading definitely give this a try and let me know down below so I can come check it out thank you again to Ange for tagging me um thank you guys for watching I've missed you guys I've missed setting down to record my daughter is waking up she probably needs to eat my son is sleeping now what can you say anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment you guys are awesome I am so so thankful for you and we'll be back here next time guys see ya Oh, no. oh. I just woke her up even more. <laughs>